Have you ever entered into a building and you felt this instant moment of awe? Oftentimes, I have noticed that that feeling is created by an atrium. Atriums are vertical open spaces that help in circulation, connect floors of a building, as well as bringing light into the interior of a building. Granted, atriums are really, really beautiful, but behind that beauty lies real challenge. Take Lisa Soho in Beijing, designed by Zaha Hadid Architect, for example. This building holds the record of world's tallest atrium. It is visually stunning, but it's also a complex piece of engineering. How? Structurally, opening up such vertical space in the interior of a building means that a large amount of building mass is to be removed. So smart engineering has to be employed so as to still keep the building stable and structurally balanced. Again, atrium helps to bring in light into the interior of the building. This is fantastic, but if not well controlled, that light could actually overheat that space, creating additional problem. And there is this thought thing that keeps architects and engineers awake at night whenever they want to design an atrium. That is fire safety. In case of fire, atriums are like chimneys. That means that smoke rises very fast from the lower part of the building to the upper part of the building entering into spaces that you naturally would never, never want smoke to enter. Now, it means that smoke control and evacuation becomes more complicated in buildings with atrium compared to normal buildings. And here is even one thing that makes Lisa Soho more interesting. The site of Lisa Soho is cut into two by a subway line. That means that that building core could not have run through from up to down. Now, this is a real problem. But rather than the brilliant hands as I did architects seeing this as a problem, they actually use the atrium to bring in a solution to that problem. So the atrium you see in Lisa Soho helps to connect the two parts of the building, making it as one, helps to draw in light into the interior of the building, and also helps in making circulation easier inside the building. And you could be sure that this safety system is second to none. So atriums are not always dramatic features. Just like in Lisa Soho, they could actually be a key part of the building. They could also even help to turn an ugly situation into an interesting building, just like we see here. So the next time you stand in an atrium, looking up, feeling like your jaw dropped, remember that is not luck. That is smart engineering, creativity, and boldness to try something that could put someone into trouble if not well controlled. For me, that is great architecture at its best.